Grandma DC here. And I hope you can see me and I'm not sitting up too high. Well, I tell you what, I have a major complaint. Drinking a little Diet 7 up, I'm trying to shut down. Got one of them little cans, little slurp cans. Mmm. I've been ordering things from Amazon for years and paying for Amazon Prime. $116 a year, I believe. And I like all the benefits I'm supposed to get with that. I like my Prime videos. I like that I get things shipping free, although I imagine the cost is included. There's nothing in this world is free. But lately, everything I've ordered from Amazon Prime is going to my stupid post office. And you know how I dislike my stupid post office in this stupid little town. That's right, I am royally, royally miffed. Thing doesn't have any hours that anyone could ever get to it. And yet everything I get, it's going there. I send a nasty gram to UPS. I was like, I don't know who's delivering on Thursdays and Saturdays, but that lazy so-and-so has taken them to the post office, and even the postmistress is like, we don't know why they just decide to bring stuff here sometime. And you know, Jennifer made me that beautiful sign in the front yard with my big address put on it, so he has no excuse. Get with the program. There's no place to contact Amazon and tell them this is going on either. I have looked all over their site. I'm like, I just want to email somebody and tell them that, you know, UPS is not bringing stuff to my house. And I'm getting really, it makes me not want to order from Amazon. If I'm going to have to go there to the post office, try to wake up when they're open and get there, you know. Okay, so, <laughs> awesome. I ordered two sets of reusable silicon bags. I decided that I was going to be a little more green and I wanted to have these, uh, you know, reusable, but I ordered two of them and there's only one. You wouldn't think that, surely, no, they wouldn't ship them in separate packages. Well, that's disappointing. Order two and only get one. I'll have to go back and see if they charge me for two. I will not be a happy camper if they have only sent me one. Nope. They sent it in two separate packages. Now, that's a waste of money, guys, and it didn't even come to my house. Grr! Major grr. I want to see what these look like. I've got to tell you, I'm really quite curious. Because they're supposed to be, like, reusable. And I have so much stuff that I put in baggies, and I just noticed that I'm just... It's baggy, 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 baggy. And I thought, if I could just get something I could reuse, then I wouldn't be burning so much plastic or having so much plastic around and stuff. Oh, well, it may work. It may not. They weren't that expensive. So let's have a look. Oh, comes with this really nice little, uh, well, I always call them idiot charts. And I need that. No, oh, because it's written in Chinese. Yep, that's Chinese. But that's okay, because I can see how this is supposed to work, I think. Disassemble procedure. Ooh. I didn't know I was going to have to disassemble the baggie to wash it, but okay. It was supposed to be like four of them in each one of these, so it was eight bags was what I was supposed to be getting. And I can see right now that that is not, I do not think that is what has happened. Oh, it's nice and stretchy. I can do this. Oh, it's only one bag. There were supposed to be four of them in here. And there's only one. That's a lot of money for one. I thought it was for four. So, uh, yeah, not, not a happy camper. You were supposed to be able to open it up and sit it down squarely, open so that you could, you know, put stuff in there easier, that it would sit open. I can see now that it's eh, not really going to sit open very good. It wants to close up anyway. 
Well, 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 disappointing that is. I cannot recommend this product. It has these little clips on the top that hold it shut. It's supposed to go freezer, microwave. Uh, three years of hard work, molds a bag, seal fresh, leak proof, moisture proof, food preservation, refrigerator, storage, portable. And this says one piece set. How can you call one piece a set? You have to have at least two for a set. All right, someone in China doesn't know English very well. Or they do, and they're just fooling us. So there you go. I paid a lot of money for just two of these. No, I'm not going to go to the trouble to send them back. But I'm warning you all, do not purchase reusable silicone bags. It shows four of them in different colors right here on the front. And it says it's a set, and it truly, truly leads you to believe that you're going to get eight bags if you order two of them. And that's what I thought. I thought I was getting eight bags. So, so much for trying to be green. Moving on. Oh, what is the next thing I ordered? It's just Christmas. I'm going to open up all the little bags here. I do know there's something in here that I hope, really hope, 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 hope works. Okay. Aha. This is one we're going to have to visit in the future. I have mentioned before, guys, that my ears ring really loud, and they have my whole life. It's just that as I get older, it's getting louder, 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 louder. And I was watching this thing that said, oh, you're about to have a stroke and die. And I was like, I wish it would hurry up and get over with because this ringing is getting so loud. I'm having trouble hearing over it sometimes. Uh, when I started taking the Moringa and the CBD oil, it kind of knocked maybe one decibel down, just, just a hair. But it's still really loud. So I got this Tenet 911. It's supposed to be a tinnitus cure from Phytage, P-H-Y-T-A-G-E, tinnitus 911. This is supposed to be, get rid of it. They said silence was golden. Well, let's find out because I don't think it's going to work. But it looks to me like it's just a bunch of vitamins and herbs. Let's hope it's the right combination to help. So, I'm going to take one of those later on. My Tells what, uh, what's the dosage here? This is supposed to be a whole month's worth. Uh, one capsule twice daily. So we'll definitely do that. And I'll let you know if the ringing even gets less. If it would just knock it down by 50%, I'd be happy. Just, I think I hear the, er, the sound of the earth. It's just all that stuff in the air, all the electronics and everything. It just makes this loud ringing like locust in a high-pitched, steady scream. If you don't have it, you're lucky. Now, what is this? Ah! I bought me some more silicon trivet mats. Silicon, silicone, silicon. The reason I did that is because I love the ones I've got. And it seems like every time I turn around, I can't find one of them. And these things are so versatile. Oh, yeah. These are awesome. You can grab them, use them for a hot pad. I can sit them down and sit hot things on them. I can um, sit a cup on it to dry. Like if I washed a cup and I just want it to drain out and the drainer is full as usual. <laughs> yes. I do recommend these. these. These are good. I think I got the cheaper ones. And that's what I wanted was a four pack of cheaper ones. Okay. So on to the first package. I know what's in the big one, and I'm going to open it and I'll, t and I'll tell you why. I was talking about using the egg whites in my last video, uh, it, the egg horror show. It, it goes on. Eggs, eggs, eggs. So I was going to start making keto-friendly, those angel food cakes, which you can make with your egg whites real easily. And um, I know I've had a lot of people say that's what they have for their birthday now, They're keto people. And it's like, thank you. And, uh, well, this ain't it. I was hoping this was my uh, angel food cake pan. It said it was delivered, but this is not what it is. This is actually, I was going to try to plan some keto meals ahead of time and, and box them up. And this is, uh, they call them bento boxes, but really it's, it's take home meal prep containers. The thing that's different about these, and I will list these below, as, uh, and I'm, I'm 
impressed with the size. Um, I wanted the ones where the lids and the container could go in the microwave. There is no sense in prepping a meal when you've got a container that you're supposed to reuse that it, you can't heat the meal in the microwave. What, what is the point of that? I mean, all the way around, that makes no sense to me. So uh, these are the, uh, uh, it says E-N-T-H-E-R, Enther Bento Box. And I forgot the number that's in here. Gosh, am I going to have to count them? It says, uh, oh, here, make sure to pinch the rectangular edges around the lid once you hear clicking sounds that indicates the lid's properly sealed. Hi there, we are Enther, the professional food supply company. Well, hello, professional food supply company. There's no food here. You just supplied me with the container, but thank you. PBA, BPA free, strong, durable, stackable, reusable, microwave safe, freezer safe, dishwasher safe, and leak proof. Meal prep containers. That's awesome. I will try to remember to link it below, but you know I'm terrible. Once I get to doing a video, I constantly forget to link things below. But I'm going to take one of these out of here so we can have a look at it to see just how durable it seems. I was sure hoping it didn't come out like super, super, you know, thin, thin, thin. Ooh, well, that's pretty, pretty durable. I mean, it's not super. I forgot how many is in here. I'm going to have to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I think 20. 20, I think, was in here. I thought 20 was plenty to have for a week's worth or so of pre-prepared meals. Uh, also, they come in different... Um, ah, I ordered the one that had two dividers, and I got the single. Um, it, it was kind of written strange on it. It, it said it, like three dividers, so if you have like three things. I never eat three things. I didn't want that. <coughs> but they sent me the one, and that's okay. That will work completely. Can it, does it seal and snap? Yes, it does. That looks pretty good. I like the size of it. What do you think? All right. Goodbye. I'm impressed with that one. All righty. Now, I found a bathing suit for old fat women. Now, how often does that happen? At least I hope. And I hope it fits. Pam has a hot tub. And I went over there one time to use it. And the only thing I had was a strad cutter. That's a bath kind of a really long body. And a strad cutter is a bathing suit that just you get the idea. Anyway, yeah, it ain't pretty. Camel toes. It's not pretty. So I found this. It's a two-piece. It should be a two-piece. And I hate those skirts. You get in those hot tubs and the air gets underneath them and the skirts float up around your face. Awful. But here it is. Okay. Yes, I think this looks like it's going to fit. I got the bigger 4X. Oh, definitely. It's like shorts, and then it's got like a tank top. And the tank top has a, a brook. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's going to be right. No, I don't want to model it. I know you're disappointed. I know you are. You want to see me in this thing. I don't know. I'll think about it. It's got uh, padded cups in here. As far as I'm concerned, we can take those out. <laughs> But yeah, it's basically a tank top and a pair of shorts, but it's a bathing suit. Yes! I was looking for something like a 1940 or 1920s bathing suit. You know, the one to the knees with the ruffle? The little ruffle hat? There's, I'm thinking, just cover me up. No one wants to see that on Grandma, but I think this is going to work. So, we have two great things and some not so great things. All right, well, and I, it said my Angel Food Cake Pan was delivered. And I don't think either one of these look big enough for an angel food cake pan unless I got snookered on that thing and it's like some little tiny thing. I don't know. It's supposed to be granite wear. Um, and, well, I didn't get snookered. It's just, the box is deceiving. Oh, here it is. Ah, oh, finally I can get rid of some eggs. I don't know what I'm going to do with the egg yolks, but we're definitely getting rid of the egg whites. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yes, Angel Food Cake Pan, the center comes out. This is a Casaware ceramic nonstick. I'm a little free 
freaked out by the fact that it's non-stick, and I'll tell you why. And then the trash. Um, my mom and grandmother always told me that the reason egg whites raise is because they stick to the side of the pan and grip as it raises, which is how it gets high. And if you have a, if you've buttered your angel food pan or anything, it can't raise up. So it's got nothing to grip to, and you'll just get a flat egg white that's yucky. So um, I'm a little weirded out by non-stick, but it says non-stick technology. It is made for angel food, so we're going to try this. Oh yeah, I'll probably vlog that for you. We'll see if the angel food cake pan works. I just like the way it worked. I ordered it in blue. Why? I should have ordered it in red. Red would have matched my house better. I was in a blue mood when I ordered it, I guess. Why do we do these things? I just thought the blue looked prettier. A moment of bad decision. And it won't make a darn bit of difference about the taste. <laughs> so who cares? Right? Here we go. All right. What is this? I have no idea. I have forgotten what I ordered. Christmas! Ah! Yes! Slow cooker liners. They sell these at Walmarts, just not my Walmart. All right? Or maybe my Walmart was sold out. I looked till I was blue in the face. In the Reynolds wrap department, in the baggie department, I don't know. I even looked down the aisle where they sell, uh, like uh, slow cookers and I could not find these so I don't know they could be next to the Kotex at Walmart seems like when I can't find something that's where it's located but these are slow cooker liners and since I don't have hot water and it's difficult to wash these slow cookers and things with just your pot water from your hot coffee pot I use these all the time so I ordered myself a couple of those for the slow cooker. I have no idea what I'm going to do with these. I should send them back since to me that's kind of false advertising, but I don't know. It holds liquid. I was thinking about doing some almond milk. <laughs> They're kind of cool. I kind of, I kind of like the little handle -y things. I guess you could hang them upside down or something. Um, if there had been four of these in the package, I would have been gaga over it. But I'm not because there weren't. Okay. All right, guys, that's about it. I've had a wonderful, fun time. This was all uh, taken to the post office over uh, Thursday and Saturday. I was here both days. And uh, yet, every once in a while, UPS comes to my door, and they're like, hey, Elise, here's your package. I'm like, thank you, Brad. Thank you, Clint. But there's somebody delivering on Thursdays and Saturdays that's just lazier than a dog tick, and he just takes it to the post office. So, ugh. and the post office is only open for an hour, like on Saturday in the morning, some unknown time, between like 8.30 and 9.30 or 8.30 and 10. And if he takes it there, there's no way I'm going to figure that out and get there. So, all right, guys, <coughs> Jennifer's coming to pick up those rabbits, and I don't want to think about it. And uh, that's going to be it for today. Angus is asleep on the floor. You may notice, I don't know if you can see it, that I have a, a, I had a fishing net here in my house. Yeah, it's because I had a hummingbird in here earlier, but I didn't catch it. Thank heavens it found its way out. And I'm going to have to burn all my trash and get rid of it. I'm trying to keep the place as clean as I can since Jennifer got me all caught up. So it's like, please don't let me get messy again. I'm going to have to stop this video and start cleaning. I'm wearing myself out trying to clean. Then I think we need to do an angel food cake here at the end. What do you think? Yeah, let's get cleaned up and do that. Well, this is never going to make YouTube. <laughs> because I totally forgot you don't take the beaters and beat in the flour. You fold it in gently. I'm an idiot. Totally forgotten how to cook. They're going to have to put me in a nursing home. I got up this morning to the strangest looking cloud formation. They're like all super bubbly. <laughs> I 
I just wonder what that's called. Actually, this one right there, you can really see it's bubbled. <coughs> Every once in a while you see really odd cloud formations like that. I always wonder, what does that mean? <laughs> what are you barking at, Scud? All right, ladies, there's some weird cloud formations, and Scud's acting weird. I think we should go back inside. The sun's just starting to come up, so there's just a tinge of pink over the tree line there. It's kind of pretty. You see, it's kind of clear over there. And then we get all these bubbles. But as the sun's coming up, they're turning pink. It's rather beautiful. <laughs> Just thought I'd share that with you guys. Watching the bubble clouds turn pink. So odd.